Kampai. Oh yeah. Mm-mm-mm. So anyways, what am I doing here with a broken keyboard, a bunch of old school uh, computer parts, and installing Windows 98 on that bad boy. Hmm. Could be interesting. Um, well, I'm kind of um, having this nostalgic idea of restoring old computers from my youth. This one here is a Dell Dimension. Um, everything seems to work. It's got a 366 uh, Pentium 2 processor in it. Um, a bunch of cool cards that I thought were interesting in this machine. This is a TV tuner card. I'm not sure how it works because right now I'm trying to look on the internet to try to find a working driver for it. And I'm having a tough time with it, you know. Uh, it's got 32 megabytes, almost said gigabytes. Yeah, wouldn't that be nice on a machine back in them days? Um, of RAM in it. Um, right now I'm hitting the dilemma because I have like two network cards and both of them are giving me issues because Windows 98 cannot detect the drivers. Well, that wouldn't be bad and all, but um, see, uh, older computers had floppies, newer ones don't, so I can find some of the drivers, and I just found out Windows 98 does not work with USB um, uh, flash drives, which kind of sucks. So I've got to waste a bunch of CDRs to even, yeah, it's a big pain in the butt. So I still have some drivers, so it's not connectable to the internet to get the drivers, but I don't really want this machine to touch the internet. It's just getting restored for nostalgia stuff for all my... Uh, old Windows 98 games. Um, this stuff over here, this board here, I've um, got to clean out the case. This is the sound card that was came with the board. And a lot of these parts are dusty. And I've been using this shop vac to uh, clean stuff up, trying to get it all cleaned up and restored. Uh, this board here is an, um, it's an, a gigahertz uh, XP board. I already took the memory out of it because one of them's uh, a, uh, I think 128, yeah, 128 megabytes, and I'm going to try to attempt to put it in there. It's the same pin size, so I'm not sure what the max on that board will work on. Um, uh, this one is a PC2322, uh, 64 meg chip, so there we go. Dusty old modem from the days when we used to have to dial up to the internet. And this one's going to be my pride and joy. The only problem I have with this board is I don't have an XT-style keyboard or a serial mouse to uh, work with this board after I clean it up. But I'm going to clean it up um, and eventually put this machine into uh, this case here. And this is the controller board for the drives. Look at that. <laughs> That's a big card. Um, believe it or not, this case has a CD-ROM drive in it. I'm not sure if that'll work with the board that I got, but um, what my goal is with this machine is to create a MS-DOS 6.0 and a Windows 3.11 um, machine. So my goal here is to try to um, make this board into a nostalgic old state, old days uh, DOS, so I can play some of my old DOS and Windows 3.11 games. You know, I've tried emulators and DOSBox and a uh, virtual machine, but I get errors, I get issues, the drivers, the emulated drivers don't work properly. So I dug up um, this old equipment. Um, it was given to me for free. Um, this is a, uh, so it's a graphics card from, I don't know, let's see. Uh, is it a Trident? No, it can't be. Um, according to the board, this is a uh, product of Mexico. I don't see anything because the chip is actually covered by Hink Sync. So maybe it's pretty more recent because at least has S video and the, uh, um, what you call it, the, uh, you know, what do you call that? 
uh, I want to say AVL maybe, and of course standard monitor port. Um, that probably won't work in this machine because this doesn't have any 32-bit um, slots. Um, I wish I could find some more memory. I'm not sure how much is in here at the moment because everything's dusty on it and I can't read the chips, but I still got to clean it. I did boot this motherboard up earlier. Um, it did post, so I do know the motherboard works. I'm not sure about the hard drive or anything else because I got it came with this uh, 500 and 500 and 100, 540 megabyte uh, hard drive which should work. That should give me plenty of space for my old games. And this is um, a Max Tor. Um, I'm not sure. Let's see. It says 16. So that comes to about, it's about 60 gigs. Um, I can't get this one to work. It just clicks and whatnot. Um, the hard drive in here is a 10 gig. So that'll be plenty for my Windows 98. So I still have to clean it up. It's got some icky stuff down there. Clean the case up real nice and finish. I got most of the dust out of it. I'm going to have to disassemble it and really vacuum it out really, really good. So, um, and this one's working. I've got um, Windows 98 already installed and got my Windows 98 Plus installed. So that's the theme I'm using. That was my favorite one back in the day. And I was actually surprised. Even the old uh, 386 board actually posted on that um, TV. So I was surprised because I would still like to find a old school monitor. But now that I know it works with LCDs, I've got about four of those laying around, and that'll save space on the final table I'm going to be building, where I have a Windows 3MS DOS machine, a Windows 95, and a Windows 98, and of course an XP, alongside with my. Uh, Windows 7 machine over there. But um, I think what I'll do is, because we're going to be moving it in, I want to get a place with a basement and then put like a big table that extends from the desk like that and then have these computers set up. So that's what I'm trying to do here. Um, so it's like, why would somebody do something like this? It's it's more of nostalgia, and there's a lot of old games I like to be able to play, like MS-DOS um, version of the original Warcraft, which I have all these old games I've saved as a kid, and I've tried emulators and everything, and it just those they just don't want to work. So I figured, well, let's just get some old hardware that people are just throwing away and put, put a few machines together, and I'll be able to emulate anything. Not even emulate. I'll be running it on real hardware. So this is kind of like my uh, winter project since it's getting cold outside and I'm going to be having a lot of time in the house. And so that's what I'm doing here. As soon as I get this baby up, I'll be happy because most of my good games are for Windows 98. And uh, this is what I'm working on right now. I'm just having problems with uh, getting a network adapter so I can network files from my main machine. And then once I get the drivers working on this, this will be fully operational and be able to play the old games. Um, problem I'm running into is some of the drivers are extremely hard to find on the internet because assholes want to scam you. Yeah. Why, I have no clue, but they're just assholes like that. But um, once I get this up and running, I guess I'll make another video showing you the stuff I used to play back in the day, my favorites. And uh, eventually I'll uh, get these babies put together and uh, have an awesome setup here soon. So, uh, yeah, um, this is Anthony from Mathware. And from this time and every time on, keep on clipping. Clipping? I'm clicking. Um, hope you enjoyed my short little techie video. And I will have an update uh, very soon. So, bye. Stay on that Thank you.